Well, I, I think it's very reasonable growth figure. Up until now, there's been a lot of talk, which is not correct, about, you know, big crisis in China's economy, et cetera, et cetera. Um, and the, now they're saying this is an ambitious target and, you know, it's a high target, et cetera. So at the moment that they're saying that China won't be able to hit this target, um, the most effective way for it to be done is, is for China simply to hit, achieve these targets because then companies will want to invest in China and it will cut through these things. It, what it won't do is, quite honestly, what is, in my opinion, a combination of downright lying and sloppy journalism. I mean, I have, you know, I've been writing on China's economy for more than 30 years, and I have never seen such systematic misrepresentation of the situation. It's going to have continue to have misrepresentation. And the most important way to deal with that is to actually hit hit the growth numbers that it's put, which are very realistic. How does John Rose understand the new quality productive forces? As I understand, the new productive forces incorporate two ideas. The first is that they are high value added. But the second is that they are the industries which are expanding in the future. It's not only the case that China is therefore becoming, getting into technologies, higher technologies which were important in the past, but these are the technologies which are going, which are important for the future. So the new productive forces for me incorporate really two ideas. One is that these are new, much higher value in added industries, and they're the secondly that they're the industries of the future. And that's that's the way I understand the term.